Hello Techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this module, we will learn about UI flows. Almost six months before, we have seen UI flows which was in previous state. All right, now UI flow having full-fledged RPA capabilities to automate the task. By using UI flows, we can automate the repetitive tasks performed by the humans. By using UI flows, we can automate both Windows application and web application without any coding knowledge. UI flows having a step-by-step -step record and playback experience that walks you through the whole process. Now, let me switch to Microsoft Power Automate portal. Click on My Flows. Now, if you see the tabs, in our previous sessions, we have seen My Flows, Team Flows. Now, we are going to discuss about UI flows. Click on that. As of now, I have not created any kind of UI flows. You can see over here, instead of using APIs, UI flows record your mouse and keyboard actions at the user interface level. Then replay them to automate multiple steps to by using UI flows. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a UI flow over here by clicking on this button. Click on that. There, there are two types of UI flows that what we have. One is Windows based, another one web based UI flows that we have. First of all, we'll talk about the Windows space. Whenever you are going to work with Windows, you are going to select this option, Windows Recorder. Select that. And you can see over here, use the Windows Recorder V1, that is version one, to create desktop workflows. This required Windows 10 operating system with 64-bit operating system. And then whenever you are going to use web applications, you want to work with web UI flows, then you are going to use Selenium IDE. Over there, Selenium IDE is the open source tool to record web workflows, required latest version of Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. All right, I will show you these two things right now on brief, okay? Before going to explain Windows UI flow as well as the web UI flow, we'll talk about the requirements, which requirement we need to develop these UI flows. If you see, I'm having prerequisite for this one. One is you need either paid or a trail Power Automate plan. It should be a work or school account to sign in into your Windows device with administrative privilege and Power Automate. And also it is required Windows 10 Pro, Windows Server 2016 or Windows Server 2019 operating systems in your laptop or in your desktop. Microsoft Edge with version 80 or later versions is required to develop web-based applications or else you require Google Chrome browser and also you require an environment with common data service database and a supported keyboard attachment. These are all the prerequisites to develop your UI flows. Now we will talk about the limitations. If you see the limitations, you must have latest versions of the each component to record, test, or run UI flows. That is the first requirement. Now, if you see Windows 10 home installations are not going to be supporting for the UI flows. For the desktop UI flows, you require multiple monitors, double click, mouse over, touch pen input. These are all the inputs you require as a limitation part. And also, if you see web UI flows, you require right click, user session information like cookies, you need to store it while you are going to use playback. All right, till now we have seen the prerequisites as well as the limitation. Now we'll go for the desktop UI flows. I'm selecting Windows Recorder over here. Now let me click on next. If you see over here, it is going to give it as welcome to UI flow for desktop, which records multiple step tasks at the user interface level, then we can replay them by using the same series of steps automatically. Now, over here, you can see the first thing is that flow name. I'm going to just give it, to give it as desktop app, and then I'm going to click on next. I'm not going to explain all the things over here. I'm just going to explain you briefly about this, how you are going to create desktop UI flows as well as the web UI flows by using Power Automate. All right. Now, if you see over here, setup inputs, 
if you have any input for this one you can go ahead and you can give it or else click on next over here you can see record or record and edit steps when you click on next step it is having two kind of recorders if you see under ui flows one is recorder another one is win automation we'll talk about these things in upcoming sessions now i'm going to close it this one and then now i will show you how to create web ui flow over here if you see whenever i'm going to create web ui flows i'm going to select selenium id click on that and click on next now it will give us a uh, window like that you know welcome to your flows for web and I, it will ask for the flow name just i'm going to give it as web app and then i'm going to give the base url over here i will just give https flow.microsoft.com and then you will see over here launch recorder click on that you, if you are using web ui flows or selenium id as the first time in your desktop or laptop it will ask you to install the extensions for the ui flows browser as we have already seen that once again if you want to go ahead download this it will take some time to download the software once the download has been completed click on open to start the installation of that so ua flow setup has been started i have explained this in the previous session also please select that i accept the term checkbox and then click on install it will take some time to configure a desktop environment for building testing and running ua flows which installs includes a strip of recorder browser extension and third party components also now the installation has been completed successfully click on close now you can see over here you have flows in microsoft power automate added another program on your computer added an extension that the main you required selenium ide extension click on enable so that it will add the extension to your browser now we are ready to launch our recorder by clicking on launch recorder once we click on launch recorder we can create or we can build our web ui flows successfully i hope you understand how to create desktop as well as the web ui flows by using power automate in this session Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.